Which where our reporter Elvis Koske is standing by to give us the latest following the earlier press conference by the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, who has exuded confidence that 2018 will be a better year for the Kenyan economy. Over to you, Elvis. Thank you very much, Abi. Indeed, we are coming to you live once again from Kapkoi Village. This is in Elgeyo, Marakwet County. We have been crisscrossing this particular part of the county where the Kenya Re plus the PS Trade and other leaders, including Kenya North Member of Parliament, Dr. James Murgor, have been here issuing Christmas goodies to residents. But of great concern is the state of economy, and I'm now joined uh, once again by the CS Treasury, Andrew Dottich. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank and you once again, uh, maybe let's dwell matters of economy. Uh, before all that, we had a prolonged electioneering period, and I understand the economy uh, was in a heat. But currently, where do we stand as a country? Yeah, uh, 2017 was a very tough year, as you all know. Uh, we have started with a drought, later on a whole period of uh, electioneering that culminated in two elections. What happened with that is a huge expenditure that we had to incur. Uh, which was not uh, anticipated and obviously businesses were affected and uh, revenue collections again affected so we had to tighten our belts in a way through supplementary one we had to uh, institute austerity measures so that we can live within our means uh, so that is the supplementary one which are, we are implementing now uh, the idea there is to continue the austerity measures as we work towards recovery on our uh, revenues that were affected through election. But that is now behind us, so we look forward for a speedy uh, you know, turnaround in our revenue performance and, of course, uh, continue the program of austerity towards uh, the end of the financial year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Buenos Aires, uh, the second part of the extension of syndicated loan and also the second uh, round of Eurobond uh, 2018 is something that is great concern to uh, men many Kenyans, or maybe as a CS of the Treasury, uh, what should Kenyan look in for uh, when it comes to 2018? 2018 is a year that we expect to uh, continue with our fiscal consolidation program. What I mean is that uh, we are continuing to tighten our, our deficit. Uh, the idea there is to ensure that our debt remains sustainable. The debt has been sustainable, but our program is to continue to make sure that debt remains sustainable for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. So the fiscal plan that we are now uh, working on is to enhance revenue performance mm -hmm. as one of the key areas. We are going to do that by administrative reforms, uh, where we're working with KRA now to pinpoint areas where there have been leakages, areas where we can collect more revenues and we have not been doing in the past. So that's a big area for reform. We are also reviewing our tax laws. Uh, one law that we are working on is the income tax. So that should uh, bring back our revenue to tax um, in the in the coming uh, financial year. So that is where we are working on. On the expenditure side, the austerity measure will continue. We have just uh, been going through with the ministries, line by line, item by item. We, everybody must justify every expenditure um, so that we eliminate any wastage. Uh, in fact, we have adopted what is called a zero-based budgeting. So you start from zero and build up uh, uh, by justifying every single cent that you want to spend in the next financial year. We believe that, that exercise will yield some fiscal space, uh, which should allow us to implement the, the President Uru Kenyatta's next term of priorities, which is the big four that he has already mentioned in his inauguration speech. Okay. Bona, yes, uh, talk to us about this extension of syndicate loan to April. And many institutions are afraid that there's going to be a shrink when it comes to tax revenue? No, the, that, that's not uh, founded. Um, the tax, is, I've just mentioned, is that it shrinked because of the long period of electioneering which affected business. Mm -hmm. We are now uh, over that. We expect a speedy recovery in that area. Mm -hmm. And going forward uh, with the reforms that I've just mentioned, on the revenue side, 
and also on the expenditure, we should expect to live within a fiscal target that will ensure that debt is sustainable going forward. Uh, on the issue of uh, financing, on the uh, on the euro bond, or syndicated loan, and all that, this is a program that we have been doing since uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, uh, first syndicated loan was in 2012, before mm -hmm. even um, a jubilee government came in place. Mm -hmm. The coalition government at that time borrowed 750, no, 600 million US dollars. And we refinanced that through the Euro bond of 2014, which you all know that part of it was to pay off the, the, the maturing loan. And since then, we have not gone to the market on the Euro bond. Um, of course, it is an option uh, that we are obviously considering uh, to continue to finance. Uh, purpose of being in a Euro, uh, doing Euro bond is to continue being active in the international capital markets. Mm -hmm. You can't enter once and, and, and disappear because you must be always in the emerging market index. And uh, issuance is a continuous uh, uh, issue that uh, even the emerging countries have been doing. So we have a, a plan, the fiscal plan in, incorporates mm -hmm. our plan for uh, any borrowing, be it local or, dom or external. Okay. Lastly, uh, as we wind up, many indicators uh, point at uh, using of the physical tools to stimulate the economy. As you approach again 2018, what is the Treasury or the Jubilee government? Well, um, we don't intend to uh, fiscal stimulus, as you have, have said. Uh, we have to create space, that I've just said, uh, because we need a fiscal target that will ensure our debt is sustainable going forward. So um, we are uh, working on that fiscal plan together with the reforms that uh, we have just uh, mentioned. The idea behind that is to ensure that uh, we accommodate critical expenditures that are needed to jumpstart the economy, especially under the big four the housing sector, the manufacturing sector, the food security sector. Those are needed to get the economy uh, moving. So we needed to create space for that by the uh, administrative actions that I've just mentioned, so that it allows expenditures for those which are more job creating and, uh, and helps the economy uh, to move on. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Merry, you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You. Thank you. Okay. So, Abi, that was Treasury CS Henry was putting into perspective the state of the economy. Of course, as you'd heard from him, he's optimistic that the Jubilee government or the economy in this country, they are going to do all they can so as to make sure they stimulate and jumpstart the economy, which was affected by the prolonged electioneering period. Abi. Well, many thanks, uh, Elvis Koske, for that uh, exclusive interview, just uh, getting some interesting insights from the Treasury Cabinet Secretary, Henry Rotich, uh, talking about uh, the various fiscal stimulus packages that they are considering on the table come next year. And of course, uh, we shall definitely be keeping an eye on how the government continues with its economic strategy. Well, we want